Hi everybody. I wanted to try reading to you a book that was one of the first books that I learned to read when I was a little girl and it has my favorite character in it and his name is Little Bear. And this book is called A Kiss for Little Bear. A Kiss for Little Bear by Elsie Homeland Minerick. A Kiss for Little Bear. picture makes me happy, said Little Bear. Hello, Hen. This picture is for Grandmother. Will you take it to her, Hen? Yes, I will, said Hen. Grandmother was happy. This kiss is for Little Bear, she said. Will you take it to him, Hen? I'll be glad to, said Hen. Then Hen saw some friends. She stopped to chat. Hello, Frog. I have a kiss for Little Bear. It's from his grandmother. Will you take it to him, Frog? Okay, said Frog. But Frog saw a pond. He stopped to swim. Hi, Cat. I have a kiss for Little Bear. It's from his grandmother. Take it to him, will you? Cat, hi, here I am in the pond. Come and get the kiss. Oh! said Cat, but he came and got the kiss. Cat saw a nice place to sleep. Little Skunk, I have a kiss for Little Bear. It's from his grandmother. Take it to him like a good little skunk. Little Skunk was glad to do that, but then he saw another Little Skunk. She was very pretty. He gave the kiss to her, and she gave it back. And he gave it back. And then Hen came along. Too much kissing, she said. But this is Little Bear's kiss from his grandmother, said Little Skunk. Indeed, said Hen. Who has it now? Little Skunk had it. Hen got it back. 
She ran to Little Bear and she gave him the kiss. It's from your grandmother, she said. It's for the picture you sent her. Take one back to her, said Little Bear. No, said Hen, it gets all mixed up. The skunks decided to get married. They had a lovely wedding. Everyone came. And Little Bear was best man. I hope you liked the story about a kiss for Little Bear, and I hope the time is coming soon when you can get a kiss again from your grandmother and give your grandmother a kiss if you have one. I'm sure that your grandmother is missing you. Thank you.